At Alumni Stadium on Saturday, the Guelph Griffins took on the Western Mustangs in a battle that would decide who gets the first round bye in the playoffs. The Griffins are currently riding a home winning streak of 13 games. And they started off strong. Jazz Lindsay drops back, has time, and launches a pass to Lucas Spagnolo. He makes a great catch and is brought down on Western's two yard line. Very next play, Lindsay, off of play action that even fools our camera guy, completes a pass to the back of the end zone. Mason Swift was on the receiving end and has his first touchdown catch of his OUA career. 7-0 Guelph early in the game. Guelph struggled to defend the long ball last week against Carlton. This week, Will Finch, with the wind at his back, decides to go deep, but Colin Mandick breaks it up with a great defensive play. It would be 10-6, headed into the second quarter. And Western presses. Garrick Sanvito gets a handoff, breaks some tackles, and is downed at the 15. Next play, Finch drops back, then lobs a high ball to the side of the end zone. Adam Sinclair is there to receive the catch, and Western takes the lead, 13-10. And not long afterwards, Finch would add a second touchdown pass to his stat line, connecting with Johnson. Suddenly, it's 20 to 10 for the Purple Ponies. After each team would trade field goals, it's 23 to 13 now with about a minute left in the half. Guelph is driving. Jazz receives a snap in an empty backfield, then throws over the middle to Andre Fraser for a first down, setting up this. Jazz to Alex Charette for a 35-yard touchdown pass. Make it 23 to 20 with only 51 seconds left in the half. But Guelph wasn't done yet. It's third and short for the Stangs at Guelph's 46, and they decide to go for it. But Cameron Walker plugs the hole and tackles Haru for no gain. It's a turnover on downs, and the Griffins have the ball near midfield with 25 seconds left. And a few plays later, with no time on the clock, Daniel Ferrero kicks a 30-yard field goal to tie the game at 23, heading into the half. After Guelph scored quickly in the second half to make it 30-23, to Western was trying to keep pace. Finch takes the snap, drops back, and lobs the ball downfield. But Nicholas Parizo is there for his fourth interception on the season. He weaves through players before being brought down after an 18-yard return. A few plays later, Rob Farquharson, who had been pretty quiet in this game up to this point, takes the handoff from Jazz and trucks his way into the end zone. The Griffs are quickly up by 14, only two minutes into the half. But on Western's next possession, San Vito shows off his receiving skills as well. Here, Finch connects with him, and he muscles his way all the way to the two-yard line, setting up his own touchdown run. 37 to 30 for the Griffins. And on the Mustangs' next possession, they would drive down and score again, tying the game up at 37. After Guelph gives up a safety and scores a rouge, it's 39 to 38 for Western, with four minutes left in the game. Guelph is forced to punt near midfield, but the snap is low and bounces past Ferrero. He falls on it and Western starts their drive off from Guelph's 22-yard line. Only a few plays later, Finch finds Sinclair on a drag route and he walks into the end zone for his second touchdown catch of the game. And that was Finch's third touchdown pass of the game, make it 46-38 to for Western late in this one. On their next possession, Guelph would march down the field from their own 26-yard line. Here, Jazz fakes the handoff, then scrambles. He finds an open Fraser who has a nice catch and run for a first down and more. Guelph would get down to Western's two-yard line, and it's third and goal. Lindsay drops back and passes to Charette, but it's incomplete. A flag is thrown for pass interference, though, giving Guelph a new set of downs. They still have life. They line up in a heavy goal line set. Lindsay under center. He fakes the handoff and tosses the ball to Matt Toppin for the touchdown. Guelph still needs a two-point conversion, though, and Toppin gets a penalty for spiking the football, which means Guelph needs to convert from the 15-yard line. 
Lindsay drops back, then steps into his throw. It's intended for Shred, and he brings it in, tying the game at 46. The Griffins can't believe it. And the Griffins would get one more possession with 30 seconds left. Here, Lindsay connects with Dylan Husty. Then Farquharson gets some tough yards up the middle. That would lead to this 41-yard field goal attempt by Ferrero. And it's good! Even though the snap was high, Ferrero still puts it through the uprights. Griffins win a thriller in Guelph. 49 to 46, solidifying a first round bye in the playoffs. Jazz Lindsay passed for 514 yards, setting a new school record, and Guelph would extend their home win streak to 14 games. Here's head ball coach Stu Lang after the game. The word we kept talking about was resilient. Uh, we made some mistakes, uh, Western got up, but we kept coming back and we fought right to the end. Uh, I told them a story uh, last night about my first great cup, 1975, and we won it in the last second on a missed field goal, Montreal missed. So uh, I told them, we're going to win this one on one we made, and that's what happened. As a kicker, that's just something uh, you look forward to. That's what you practice for. That's what you dream about. Um, so I'm just happy I got the opportunity to win the game for us. It's a big accomplishment for sure. I didn't know until they announced it at the end. Uh, you know, it's awesome. You know, at the end of the day, if that's what's gonna, if, that, if that's what it takes to beat these guys, then I'm glad that that's how it worked out and that's how I did it. You know, Junk is a hell of a quarterback, so that's a big accomplish, accomplishment for me to come through and, and you know, and, and beat that record. I told them that this game was more important than just winning to get a bye. It was also uh, about our football program. You know, we got here five years ago, and we wanted to be considered one of the elite teams, and to do that, you have to beat the best. And uh, today, we certainly beat one of the best. For the Guelph Griffins, I'm Matt Etchier.